defense is vital, particularly if you're not the aggressor. And since I'm assuming you're nice people, you're probably not gonna be the person to hit first. That means the other guy's gonna hit you first. You've gotta survive the first hit. It's a single most important thing. If something is coming from the front, we'll be stepping back because we wanna get away from the thing that's hitting. So if somebody's hitting us, I wanna step away from it and put my hands up. So step back and put your hands up. This is like bad thing coming, just do this. Now, there's the question, should you train right and left foot? In this case, there's two cases where I think maybe there's no point doing both feet. Because I don't want you to be choosing left or right. And almost everybody is better with their dominant foot going back. It means if you're right-handed, step right foot back. Because what we really need is we need to cut every fraction of a second out of that. We don't want you to decide which foot. So just go back with that one. Bad thing coming, you just go back. Steps away and you shield it. It's the same thing, you're just stepping away from the bad thing. Okay. You see where we're headed. <laughs> if you hear or see something coming from behind, step your dominant foot to get turned, but you've got to step it far enough to have balance here. That's it. So something bad coming, oh. Try from the back, from the back. Dominant foot moving, your right foot stays back, face the front. Here I come, right foot will move, there you go. And I can come from the left over here, now that foot will move, right? Yes. Here I come. Put the Russia, let her see where she's going, because she's still stopping. We said there's eight things, because there's the angles. If I come frontwards, we just did, right? Yeah, you just step straight back. If I come this angle, you step back to that angle with a far foot. Boom. I come left side, you step away. Boom. If I come back side, the far foot steps away that way. Yeah. Now I'm behind you, which you've already done. Here I come. Boom, 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 boom. This side, now you've got to switch other foot. Coming this angle, here we go. Boom. Yeah. Coming from this side, already done. Boom, that's it. And coming from this angle, that foot will step away from me. You step away from the thing that's coming because you want to reduce the impact that it hits you. So whenever I'm being hit, I prefer to be going away. But whenever I'm hitting, I prefer to be moving in. Start that. <laughs> 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 and the trick is just. Yeah. Around. We're walking around them. Circling like sharks. That's it. Mr. Ogden. Now we're going around. Stay away from a little bit. Boom. That's it. So he has to stay. That's it. So he has to stay Do you want not thinking ahead. Can you see what they're relaxing? Yeah. The, the two strokes are the same regardless of the weapon. You have diagonal down and across. It comes up, it goes the other way. It doesn't matter which weapon I'm using. So this is really the same thing here, here. So the same work regardless which weapon I've got. It never actually stops moving. It's a one-handed sword, almost always held in the front hand. If it's a two-handed, I lean towards the front hand on the top. If it's a staff, it doesn't really matter because you're grabbing the middle, right? And you'll use it like this. All right, but with one foot forwards, this side is easy. This side back here requires some turning. And you can do quite a bit of this. What I'm trying to do here is just getting my rhythm, but then I 
with it, and you'd like that to be kind of continuous. Yeah, just kidding. We get to see what the sequencing works like. So it's here, 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 down, down, crop, crop. Then you do that. Yes. Oh, and it's actually quite frightening. <laughs> it's a really busy event. If you only did the same thing. Now the other person, KJ, when I defend with something, I don't right. want this going Arms away out of position because she's going to hurt me. This stays here. So when she swings, if she swings the other way, I'm just catching it on the plate here. And I'm using, on the two-handed, I'm using the two hands as a triangle, which is very powerful. If you're using a one-handed, I do this here. When you swing, I just catch it. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because the more you really just need to keep it, like, kind of rotated almost. So you'll be sitting with both hands like this, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just keep it, you keep it up. Boom, boom, boom. Well, there's very little for you to do. Brother. Yeah. 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 The axe is very nimble. I feel very deep like that. Yeah, I'm thinking that. You can do the angle down, you can do the sideways, that's it. And try, yeah, make her work. <laughs>